Hello, this is your teacher, Ma'am Adoko, and for our tutorial today, we're going to continue with our topic, Statement of Comprehensive Income. And before I will proceed to our tutorial, I would like to invite you to subscribe and follow our YouTube ch channel. I will give you our learning objectives identify the elements of the SCI and describe each of these items for a service business and a merchandising business. And then the second objective, prepare an SCI for a service business using the multi-step approach. We have discussed on the other video that sales revenue account is generally used to describe revenue from selling of goods like example of sales of goods uh, food sales or ticket sales revenue from sales of goods is recognized when goods have been delivered to the customers or buyers however customers are allowed to return the goods that do not meet their quality standards or the customers found that the merchandise are defective. Goods that are delivered are counted as sales on the date of delivery and when the goods are returned by the customers, the returned goods will not be deducted from sales or rather um, we use a contra sales account under the account title sales returns and allowances so what do you mean by sales returns and allowances so sales return and allowances is a contra revenue account deducted from sales so it is a sales adjustment accounts that represents merchandise returns from customers and also it is a deduction to the original selling price when the customers decide to accept the defective products another contra account under sales is the sales discount what do you mean by sales discount Sales discount is when the supplier give discounts to their customers to encourage them to pay early. Like example, the business entity delivered the goods to the buyer and appropriately recorded the sales revenue based on full selling price. Then give the buyer the credit terms of 210 net 30 so what do you mean by 210 net 30 it means the buyer will receive 2% discount if the credit will be paid within 10 days so the buyer took advantage of the discount and paid within the 10 day discount period accounting practice does not deduct the discount from the sales but rather use the contra sales discount which is called the sales discount we proceed to the computation of the net sales only the net sales is reported on the statement of comprehensive income and what is net sales so net sales is the sum of a company's gross sales minus its returns allowances and discounts so we have this formula net sales equals gross sales minus sales returns and allowances and minus sales discount i have um, illustration here friendly convenience store sales revenue Juana de la Cruz, owner of Friendly Convenience Store, sold three boxes of ballpoint pens to Mrs. Susan Gonzalez, 
on account at a price of 150 pesos per box or 15 pesos per pen. Who wanna give Mrs. Gonzalez two weeks to pay the account? Moreover, Juana told Mrs. Gonzalez that she will deduct 2% discount if she pays within a week. Mrs. Gonzalez returned one week later. She returned five pence and took advantage of the discount. Determine the amount of sales, sales return, sales discount, and net sales from the transaction with Mrs. Gonzalez. So, what are the informations we can find in this illustration? Okay, so um, Juana de la Cruz sold three boxes of ballpoint pens to Mrs. Gonzalez on account, which means on credit. So, the price of the box is 150 pesos per box or 15 pesos per pen. And then also want to give credit terms to Mrs. Gonzalez. So she give him uh, this term. She will have a 2% discount if she will pay it within 7 days. And then another information. Mrs. Gonzalez return one week later. Okay, with the five pens and took advantage of the discount so we need to determine what is the amount of sales sales return sales discount and net sales from the transaction with mrs gonzalez so the sales amounted to 450 pesos so 150 pesos per box multiplied by three boxes and then Mrs. Gonzalez returned five pence, which amounted to 75 pesos. So five times 15 pesos. And then, okay, so 450 pesos less sales returns of 75 pesos. So the remaining balance is 375 pesos. And then, since she paid the credit within the seven days, so she was able to avail the discount of 2%. So 375 pesos less 2%, which is the 7, seven and 50 pesos. So 7 pesos and 50 centavos, so that is the sales discount. And then the net sales amounted to 367 pesos and 50 centavos. We proceed to the expenses. We know from our first video on this topic that expenses are transactions that decreases the assets or increases the liabilities of the business entities and we have these following um, types of expenses cost of goods sold operating expense and the other expense so what do you mean by cogs or cost of goods sold so cost of goods sold is an account used by companies that sales goods instead of services okay so this um, are this account are used by the merchandising companies okay so another term of cost of goods sold is cost of sales for trading operations the cost of sales or cost of goods sold collects the cost of the merchandise sold so this includes the purchase price of inventory, brokerage, and shipment cost to bring the goods to the premise of the company. So the shipment cost is called freight in. Cost of sales or cost of goods sold is part of inventory accounting. 
and accountants have two ways of keeping records of the inventory so this we have these two systems of keeping records of inventories the perpetual perpetual and the periodic inventory system perpetual means the inventory and cost of goods sold accounts are perpetually updated so it means never ending updation okay so the inventory account is increases when goods for sales are acquired and also decrease when goods are sold so the cost of goods sold account is updated every time a sale is made while the periodic inventory system the inventory account is only periodically updated so when we say periodically it means that the inventory account is updated only at the end of the year or end of the month what will happen when merchandise are acquired or sold so i will introduce to you now the term purchase account cost of merchandise acquired is collected using the purchases account and there are two contra purchase accounts the purchase returns and allowances and the purchase discounts purchase returns this is the accounts that contains deduction from purchases for defective items return to suppliers like for example the business entity purchase goods from a certain suppliers and then when the business entity received it it was found out that it was defective so the business entity returned the purchase back to the supplier so the account title that will be used is purchase returns and allowances and then purchase discount so this is an offer from the supplier to the buyer to reduce the payment amount if the payment is made within a certain period of time so the supplier will give discounts to the business entity if the business entity will be able to pay on a certain period of time example if a business purchases goods to the value of 15,000 and then the supplier give this following term 2% discount if paid within 10 days but if not the credit must be paid within 30 days so it means that the full amount is due within 30 days but a 2% purchase discount can be taken if payment is made within 10 days and how to compute the net purchase net purchase equals purchases okay the purchase price of the goods plus freight in less the purchase returns and allowances and less the purchase discount how is cost of goods sold determined in a periodic inventory system using the balances of the periodic inventory system accounts the cost of goods sold or the cost of sales is computed as follow so the first thing we need to do is to determine the beginning inventory and then we add the net purchases so how to determine the net purchases purchase price plus the freight in less the purchase returns and less the purchase discounts and then the cost of goods available for sale will be determined and then less the ending inventory 
then we can find out the cost of goods sold or the cost of sales. And then how to determine the beginning and ending inventory. Okay, so we can use the physical count of the merchandise owned by the company. Like for example, um, um, the company will perform stock taking. So it means they will count all the inventories, physical inventories on hand. The ending inventory of the prior period is also the beginning inventory of the current period. Like for example, 2000 uh, units of merchandise has been counted at the end of the year 2019. So the the 2,000 units will be the beginning inventory for the year 2020. The periodic adjustment updates the inventory account to bring it to the balance based on the year-end physical account. We have an illustration here. Friendly convenience store cost of goods sold. Juana de la Cruz, owner of Friendly Convenience Store, asked for your help to determine the cost of sales of her store. This is the first tier of operations for Juana's store. So take note, this is the first tier of operation. She provided the following data to you. Purchases based on supplier's receipts amounted to 55,344 pesos and then the freight in based on receipts of taxi fares amounted to 430 pesos and then the purchase returns amounted to 760 pesos based on the inventory account taken at the last day of the year the ending inventory is valued at 2,320 pesos. So how much is the cost of sales? Okay, so how much will be the beginning inventory, guys? Okay, so the beginning inventory will be zero. Why? Because this is the first tier of operations and then the purchases based on suppliers receipts amounted to 55,344 and then we add the freight in which amounted to 430 pesos and then we deduct the purchase returns 760 pesos so the net purchase is 55,000 14 pesos and then the our cost of goods available for sale okay since there are um, there are no beginning inventories 55,014 pesos and then we already have the ending inventory which amounted to 2320 so we need to deduct the inventory ending inventory from the cost of goods available for sale so the the cost of goods sold is 52694 now we are done with the cost of goods sold so we proceed to the other type of expense which is the operating expense operating expense refers to all other expenses related to the operations of the business other than the cost of sales example of operating expense salaries of employees supplies utilities or bad debts expense the other account under the expense are the other expenses or losses so losses and other expense 
are reported after the operating sections of the statement of comprehensive income for the reason that this expense are not related to the business operations um, like example the interest ex expense from borrowings I have here a statement of comprehensive income of ABC company dated for the year ended December 31 20 X1 try to check and observe the presentation of this financial statement you can see that this statement this income statement is different from the single step financial statement so this type of presentation is a multi-step income statement okay so the multi-step income statement is characterized by the presentation of several substitutal until net income is determined the subtotals are additional information that gives the readers more understanding of the operations of the business. So we can see that the first subtotal is the gross profit, which is computed as net sales less cost of goods sold. And then the next subtotal, the income from operation so it is computed by deducting the operating expenses from the gross profit and then the net income is next determined by adding the other income and deducting the other expenses from the income from operation the multi-step approach is also associated with the functions of expense format so if you remember um, the single step approach of the income statement is associated with the nature of the expense so multi-step remember this multi-step approach is associated with the function of expense format so the function of expense classifies operating expenses into three categories based on the usage or function these are the cost of sales the general and administrative expense and the selling expense general administrative expense refers to those incurred in the daily operations and management of the business like example the salary of the manager or the human resource manager or the salary of the secretary and then the selling expense so these are the costs related to marketing selling and distributing the company's merchandise how are operating expenses classified into function like example the salary expense it is a line item in the nature of expense of the statement of comprehensive income so this expense refers to the services rendered by the employees of the company so that's why uh, it is uh, classified into functions okay so like example the company has four employees the manager the secretary the store clerk and the delivery van driver so the manager and secretaries are involved in the daily management Hence, the salaries are reported in the general and administrative expense while the store clerk and the delivery van drivers are involved in the selling activities of the business. Then, their salaries will be presented as 
selling expense. I have here a comparison between nature and functions of expense format. So on the nature expense format, we can see that the revenues are grouped together and all the expense items are grouped together. So this is called a single step ACI because net income is computed using only one step okay so we can see that the that the total expenses are deducted from the total sales so this single step is linked to the nature of expense format why because it is based on the source of expenses like the salary expense utilities depreciation supplies and the representations while on the uh, function of expense format we can see that the expenses or the operating expenses are categorized into three the cost of goods sold then the general administrative expense and the selling expense before arriving to the net income and also in the multi-step ECI, we can see that the revenue and expenses are classified and presented on the following section. So we can see the gross profit, we can see the operating section, and the non-operating sections. Also, we can see the subtotals are presented at the end of each section so namely the gross profit the operating income and the net income and also the expenses are listed based on the usage or functions of expense okay so as i have said earlier operation expenses are categorized into cost of sales general and administrative expenses and the selling expenses thank you for watching this tutorial and i would like to leave these words to you dear students study to show yourself approved unto god and unto man have a nice day and well done